This show is brought to you by Cleans Hand Sanitizer, Tavia Herbal, Syrup and Capsules, Royal Lameta Hotel, Ahonjo Nabuhu, Glam's Makeup, Oko China Mall, Palace Mall, Kumasi Mall, Ubinya, Aya Glam's Makeup, Transformations, Weekend, Edu, Oho, Nabit Messi, Oho, Wegina, Sent Abem, Pachoko, Na, in CC, Kama Kama Mao, Fascia, Manicure, Pedicure, Oho, and I will be to me, I call no acusi. Oh, said you, you know, you name penny phone corner to drink more. This show is over one year, and so far, we are about 49th guest, all of them beyond 10 years in the industry. Etienne Osha, a year, Kofi Ajololo, or no, on Tonyum, Etienne Mabo, a man in nine penny phone, you know, because I'm coming with you know. I know she is pa. Yeah, we shall for you. Mama selecting the ninja na hi artist. Our mama basho is up in a year. George Jara, Rex Oman, Obrafo, KK Kabobo, AB Crenshaw. Omo ninja mama awajira Costa. You know what you think, Komo? Beautiful. Minu, good morning. Good morning. Did you have a call here? I'm not dumb. Hey, when you doing? What's that? <laughs> Refusing to grow. Oh, Jai. When you baby, I mean, baby. Uh huh. Now me monitor. Uh, yeah. And to me, Bano, and you mean our Bobo, our Bobo Bano. Uh huh. And my mother didn't call back. Yeah. And those days, once I say, I mean, our boy, you know, your friends, Rex, Rex, no money, KK Kabobo, no money, or money, you know, the Costa. Almost that day, the albums by Omo Yomu. I was one of the people who played their music so much wow. on radio. Wow. And you know, I sometimes that me taste that kind of songs. Kind of songs like that my mind goes back. Wow. Well, I like to use this opportunity to say good morning to my good friend, mm -hmm. uh, Da Costa, yes. Nana, and all my other friends in Kumasi. Good, good. Thank good. you. Yeah. The guys have me got two Moses for uh, National Theatre when uh -huh. when they were awarding him legend. So some prominent uh, artists, okay, and um, some uh, um, uh, what I would say, what I would call uh, the the stars in the music industry. Yeah. We were we were put together to render each uh, of his songs. You know, okay. And I'm in choir, I'm copy I'm copy Moses. I don't know who Moses is. I'm me, I'm in me. You just see him pick it. And I'm going to say, Moses is a mean to me. Then they said, I'm saying, you have to do it. I think it was organized by Fifi, Bands, and yeah. And so I did Moses at the National Theatre. And in the presence of His Excellency, former President J. A. Kufo. And I remember I went up to Kufo when. As you were sitting, with, and uh, as I was singing, Mama uh, Banado. Okay, I knew his way. And Kabobo. Uh, Kabobo, yeah. Yes. My Madame Fupa. You see, one thing about me is the fact that some of these musicians that you know, mm -hmm. uh, some of them I played alongside with them on stage. Okay. As a musician. Yeah. Years back, back in the late 70s into the early 80s. In okay. P. Wahua. Uh, KK Kabobo, no money, Rexoman, you know, they regard me as a, a colleague in the music industry. Mm -hmm. um, ben Brako, Kojonchi, uh, yeah, Papa, uh, and I'm a big brother, um, Amachi Dede, and the mm -hmm. rest, and they know me very well. Tell me your life in Nigeria. Yeah, my life in Nigeria actually started from 1978. Okay. Uh, I was by then working as a postal clerk okay. at uh, Accra Post Office. I actually was selling stamps. Okay, to people. those stamps, your wow, I need it. Yeah, they are in the uh, uh, Tombi or Post Office, or well, Ukraine Central Circle. Mm. And I'm uh, in leave. In the Oma, I'm leave up and I'm in Nigeria and I'm in Sumikoy. So when I went to Nigeria, I went just to see if it could be possible for me to also. Uh, find a way through the greener pastures. Uh, so, fortunately, as I went there, I was looking for some clerical job or okay. some nice job to do. Uh, and mm. So I started like uh, like other people hustling. Yeah. It was quite tough, but finally, me Tijuana, me say, ah, I did cross some minim minim instruments, bo, mm -hmm. because I did music at school. I mean, I was very good. Me bought me bought most instruments. Mm -hmm. 
So I talked to my godfather, and I'm godfather. I said, okay, so me pesa me join the banda, and now or helping me join a band or for the black company. Okay. So I went through all this, the meal, and then I ended up playing with one of the topmost musicians in Nigeria mm -hmm. called Sir Victor Waifu. In fact, he is the one who coined the word Joromi. That, Joromi? Uh, yes. That, Atadi Joromi? Joromi. Atadi Joromino. Uh -huh. The word Joromino on the coin here. Oh, I see. in the 60s. I see. So I joined that band. That's the word uh, people like Simi and the rest are using now mm -hmm. in their current uh, contemporary um, uh, Afrobeat music. Yes. Yeah. So um, I, I was with him for for about four years, and uh, I was playing there as a trumpeter mm -hmm. for the band. And um, most of the years that I spent in Nigeria, I was a musician. Why didn't you continue? I I I apparently. I did a lot in Nigeria musically. Uh, I, I, I featured on their television stations, uh, especially Nigeria television uh, station, uh, Nigeria NTA, NTA, yeah, NTA, NTA. Uh, Benin. That time it was in Bendel State, those days it was called mm. Bendel State, NTA. And uh, I featured so much that uh, I became very much a popular face on television mm -hmm. in, in, that, in that region. And then, um, when I came back to Ghana in 1983, I formed with my colleagues, we formed the Grassroots, grassroots Dance Band. Okay. Uh, that was, that was uh, after which, no, I, I, I was with Felix, Felix Bell, Bell Swapo, okay. Swapo Band, you know, the only reggae, top reggae group in Ghana those days. Where, where is he? Uh, he's in Accra. And Felix Bell? Uh, Felix Bell is in Accra. I apparently, it's been so long since I saw him, but I've been asking of him uh, from people that I know know him. So, um, 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 oh, oh, okay. he's cool. I, he's cool. I, need to, I need to get in touch with him. Yeah, I, I think I'll help you get in touch with him. Okay. He will be a very good material for your beautiful radio station. Thank you. Mm. And you know, I know band. And I say that I'm back my boy with uh, Alpha Blondie. Oh, okay. And uh, we traveled from uh, Kumasi to Takradi to play, and it was quite an interesting trip. So after that, yeah, for me, grassroots. From grassroots, I played Osaji Food Dance Band mm -hmm. with uh, my good friend, the late uh, Kwesi Yobo. Okay. And, uh, and uh, Dankwa, he was on guitar, and, uh, and then others, you know. So um, I, I actually had uh, some, almost a decade of uh, playing music. As a, as a musician. But you didn't re, re, uh, release any record? Apparently, those days, there was, we, we didn't have any recording studio in Ghana. The only studio we had was uh, the, the... Ambassador the, Records. The Ambas I uh, na, na, even Grand Egu. Ah, not Abba Egu. Esibons Egu. Okay. Uh, uh, Ambassador Egu. Deka. Omnina no And that was year being. I'm talking of from from 1970 something as has problems he started before by before the coup and then the, before the and then the coup came in and then the, everything just so and uh, we all you know that was when the guys started traveling like guys like uh, uh, George Darko and the rest all of them were going to Europe 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 Europe. So during that gig time now we uh, during that gig now we on Nigeria. Uko before the uh, the coup or after the coup? I okay. went after I went and then after after I went the coup happened. So the coup, the J.J. J, J. J. Rollins coup, mm -hmm. that's 1978 or 9. 79 and 81. I was not here. So you didn't experience what really happened in Never, Canada? never, never. So you spent how long in Nigeria? Uh, five years, I also. Five or yeah, five years. In Joba, how they start taking and Kenya over with me? Maybe by par. This you call serious. I only say, who go now and find the sad in a man? Then so I'm Kobe. I'm Kobe. And so I'm Toby. Him. I think I mean, maybe Tom you know po. Me di me no buy. But me but Tom ba kuna me di ba me di ba kusi me. Even grab me me kai pa ya buy. Eighty three February. Okay. Yeah, by February no. Uh, March was my birthday, and I'm here, yeah, one of my biggest birthday parties, mm. and uh, that was what the sound system we used. Okay. It was, it was crazy. You know? So, during your band's time, mm. uh, what tour around the country? And apart from... Uh, oh, yeah. From oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 uh, I played... At the time, I, Alpha Blondie was Accra, Kumasi, Accra Sports Stadium, Kumasi mm -hmm. Sports Stadium, and then uh, Takradi. 
that was an instrumentalist right yes i was i was a trumpeter okay so you stop the drums okay and it, it depends on, on, the, on yes, 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 yeah the crew i have you know okay. as for my drumming my drumming started from school secondary school and uh, after secondary school whilst i was even selling the stamps okay. my my corporation the, the pnt post and telecom yeah, corporation they had a band called p pt express okay so the pt express i remember i was being transferred to uh akuse or some someone somewhere then uh, I didn't want to go. Mm. So that was how I joined the band because I went to the band leader and told him that, look, I can play drum, I can play the drums. drums. So why not just put me in? I mean, and that they want to transfer me. So it happened that we went to the, uh, the, the HR department. Those days we called it public relations department. Mm. And then uh, we talked to the man and he said, oh, they can't transfer me. I should play the band. So I stayed on. And that was when I was actually playing drums, but I had played drums in school. Okay. Uh, so that's it. And then after that, with Grassroots Dance Band, with Osajifo Dance mm -hmm. Band, we were really touring. Oh, I see. Uh, that time, how was it feeling like? Because it looks like you were always close to the people. Unlike today, social media, you release a song mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. it. People are just enjoying it. Yeah, right. How was it like? You see, being that it's a it's, it's live band, show band, uh, mm -hmm. live, live show, uh, like you said, the interacting with the people one-on-one, -on -one, was 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 uh, very very possible uh, it's not like uh, you have the big big stadium type of crowd mm -hmm. no but like like a dance and a nightclub uh, no not a nightclub uh, a dance a dance hall okay. type, type, type of thing that community so the head that kind of community yeah. so maybe you go to tafu and the whole tafu town is you know booming that like, yeah this band has come oh yeah and things like that. and so it, it was quite interactive and uh, very very much uh, uh, what I would say, um, um, it was a pleasure for mm. the people to even see us coming to play in their towns. Akimo, Achimoda, um, uh, Asankragua, mm -hmm. went as far as Asankragua. We went to uh, Insawam and all those places. Um, uh, uh, did I mention Tafo? Yeah, you uh, Somanya, Ada, and all those places I, I had actually taught. I was quite young, though. I was quite young. Yeah, being with the people all the time, uh, one of the reasons, yeah, and must sometimes the musicians or the artists get carried away and sometimes spend their money anyhow? Well, I, I, I would, I'd rather say uh, in, in, in totality, mm -hmm. that's what people uh, have impression-wise about uh, uh, bandsmen of those days. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the impression. You see, uh, but I think we should rather take it on that individual individualistic uh, level say obia woni ni obia woni ni ni super in the kind of you know enye enye obia so na yes but i didn't see it that way when i was playing because i was i was i was one of the people yeah. and those days so unya unya sika me as a young man i uh, me made me even cry na me nyandi 20 mpo I was about 1920, Nami Boband, 18, 19, 20, Nami Boband. In this Sikano bar, at that time. Oh, yeah. Chilling. Yeah, when you're chilling, po. Because those days, no, yeah, type of, yeah, time, no, chilling, no. Not the same. Yeah, chilling, comparatively, no, yeah, chilling, yeah. Comparatively. I didn't know what you wanted then. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there were no this, uh, this cool, uh, nightclubs, mm. just about drinking mm. joints. Okay, no. No, we had discos. Okay, we had discos, serious in discos. In the mid early eighties. No, uh, in the in the in the in the in the mid seventies. Okay, in the mid seventies, we have in the mid seventies into seventy nine eighty before the coup, we had very serious discos. Popular uh, ones, can very you popular. Yes, of course. Uh, I know Pussycat. <laughs> I know Cave de Roy. I know Gondola. You know. And uh, and then places afternoon jumps that we used to have Metropole Watto. These are all in Accra, though. Okay. But I know that in Kumasi too, they had this uh, um, Americana, uh, Americana jamboree and yeah. some things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the Fox Trap and Co. Be oh, oh Fox Trap. Kingsway, yeah. Kingsway down there. Down yeah, there yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, don't don't forget, I schooled in Kumasi. Me go school Kumasi. Yeah, yeah Kumasi boy Accra. Uh huh. Me go school Kumasi. Do guy who know. And then Kumasi for a guy, but it's only a guy. That's all I got. She said, Why? She said, Why? Anyway, so that's that's the whole thing. It was it was it was it was there. Mm. In the chilling, no, I will kind of 
in that aspect, no, you call club, you call yeah. not club, you call friendly disco, yeah, disco, you call disco. But there were there were places open club at uh, Grofford Traum and beer and all those things. Uh, yeah, one of the top guys then. Jadof, mm. only you encounter with him. Jadof, the only time I me 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 nya uh, I me nya encounter with him, no, it was when I was at GBC. Uh, uni on, as a on, presenter, as a presenter on the GBC FM radio station, yeah, which was of course the only radio station in Ghana, and it ran for about ten years before the other radio stations ca started coming in, and yeah. we were there. So I was on that radio station for ten years. So that was when I had the, an encounter or uh, meeting him. Had the, had the opportunity to meet him. Blood Chinese. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, quite an interesting man, yeah. you know. And uh, and uh, and as at that time too, before I came in, I was not so much into. Uh, the guitar band okay. like the style of music the of, yeah uh, i was i didn't know much about it because especially you can get more of this type of music when you are from uh, the eastern region i can't speak in areas okay. you know so not not uh, so apparently i didn't i was not into uh the kind of that kind of, music. kind of music yes although i was playing music okay but uh i i so i had this uh, i had this album mm. they gave me an uh, they gave me an album to to to, to promote sort yeah. of you know so I, I took it and uh, we had a, pro a program on, on radio called Guitar Bandstand. Okay. Guitar Bandstand. So uh, I, was, I was like, on, on, on those days at GBC, we run shifts. Apart from the programs that probably you have, you yeah. run shifts. So when sometimes your shifts will, will, will run into someone. Guitar, no, not someone. It, your, your shift runs into guitar bandstand. So you have to present that program. Oh, so okay. I had the opportunity to playing J. Adolfo, Ampofo, 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 J. Nana, Ampofo, and all the others. Uh, Osei Kofi and uh, others. So I played a lot of all those, and so I, I, I had the opportunity to meet them one on one, on one at least once or twice. Some of them, Kofi, I know uh, Kofi Sami very Sami. well, and so I know all of them, and they know me too. Open music, a passion, a idea. Why didn't you continue? Now, Jai to Hokra. Anyway, you see, yes, I mean Jai to Hok. Uh, you know, as as it is, you no, know, me, me started music at a very early age, at the age of nine nine years to ten years now i i was all, all, all already a trumpeter okay. so when i entered secondary school form one even uh, form one then the, the, the whole school in guitar secondary school they knew that i was coming and they knew how good i was on the trumpet and the mm -hmm. guitar secondary school had a, a, a dance band mm -hmm. in the school so the day one day two by the fourth day i was a member of the band i was in form one and these are these were seniors playing the band six form s form five form four and I was the youngest boy in the band, so that, that you could. That, my father himself was a musician. Was a musician. Okay. Blessed memory. Was a musician. He he in the later part of his years was became a choir master. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmother who had my father was a very good pianist because the Germans, the German missionaries taught her how to play. Mm -hmm. So that that passion had always been in me. I had even taught music in uh, in, uh, in in school. I, yeah, not uh, I formed a, a small a group. class. Okay. That I taught them how to blow the the, the wind instrument instruments uh, tuba and all those flugelhorn and things like that and uh, uh, th that passion has always been there but as i said those days we didn't have studios yeah we, uh, some of us I, I i always say that if there were studios like no. they, we have now bros uh, i don't think i would have been an actor okay maybe perhaps i will be one of them big guys in music so the passion is still there yes but and don't forget i still have my guitar in my bedroom that i play all the time wow Yes. You should have brought it here. If I knew, I would have informed you to bring it. Don't worry. Picture. You'll see something on video very soon on social media. Wow. That would be lovely. Yeah. At that age, you joined a band. Mm -hmm. I guess you were a student then. Your parents, mm -hmm. combining school and playing band. And your fan as a bandsman are in quote, Akushifu. In fact, uh, I think, let me put it right here. Uh, me what ten years now me bought trumpet no mm -hmm. now me prime elementary school okay. in the trumpet now me born your dance band church okay. as a nigga uh, 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 Methodist boys brand band scout uh, scout, you know, sask, yeah hey. see why was uh, hey. now okay. I'm band uh, that one that was where I started from mm. into you know, secondary school me when I no more dance band no. I want a dance band me started to uh, say I bought Percy Sledge in you know, James Brown, fa -ta -ta, fa -ta -ta, mm -hmm. and things like that. Then I started learning more. 
And you know, when I was in school, no, the school band was what I was playing. Playing, okay. But me we a school, no, and I mean call me start a uh, uh, professional band playing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you know, me we a school, I mean start a professional band playing. Band playing, pan, no, now me me age my post office. Okay. Uh, and you know, you were independent then. Oh yes, to be a man now, but man now man, mm -hmm. you must hustle. Where were your parents then? My parents were around. They were okay with you joining the band. Oh yeah, because my father realized that there was nothing that could stop me. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have gone to the university as at that time mm -hmm. to 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 further my studies, but nothing nothing stopped me. So my daddy was like, well, if this does, my grandmother, even though it was my grandmother, mm. if that's what he wants to do, then let him do it. So my grandmother even advised me, why don't you go to university and go and learn at the school of Dondo? <laughs> and the school of Dondo, I hear school there of was? Dondo. Yes. Oh, okay. At, uh, the, 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 which is today the uh, Department for Theater, uh, Theater Studies and African Music and African oh, okay. Whatever Studies. Yes. So when, when I said, oh, school of Dondo. I wanted to play band, you know. Play the fun of it. The fun of it. I wanted to play reggae like uh, 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 this man, Jimmy Cleave, yeah. and, you know, all those kind of things. Yeah. So that was how it ended up. Can you prove to us that, yes, you 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 you, you know how to sing? Any favorite song that you can give us a few lines? I've sung a lot of songs. Yeah, for us to hear today. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. On how much time? And <laughs> Ochi. <laughs> I'm already one hand power. It's hard to hear, <laughs> With your deep voice, you know. Only by white in your to by white. So deep voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have uh, loved culture. Uh, not, Reggae. Uh, yeah, I, I love African culture. I love. Uh, uh, music with conscience, uh, okay. conscious, uh, conscious. consciousness, yeah, and consciousness. Uh, and uh, so sometimes I I like to just listen and maybe sing along a music like a uh, uh, rally round the flag, rally round the red, gold, black and green, rally round the rally round the red, gold, black and green, Michael say, Michael say, red for the blood, it flows like a river. Michael say, Michael say, green for the land, Africa. Michael say, yellow for the gold that they stole. Michael say, Michael say. You know that song? What happened? Achepa. Achepa. I was a mini reggae fan, you know. I only a reggae fan. But I hardly... And this was played by Still Pulse. Okay. So after the death of Bob Marley, Still Pulse was a group that I actually loved to listen to because the the, the, the lyrics were quite, a, uh, uh, you know, positive for positive. me uh, as far as my life as a black man uh, was concerned. You know, at the point he said, uh, they took us away into captivity, captivity. How was, how was nightlife like then compared to today as a bandsman? Uh... Those days, as at now, I don't know how it is like with the present time, but uh, reading and watching videos and uh, getting into social media, I realized that it has grown so big, mm -hmm. so big that it, it is overwhelming the people or the, 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 the stakeholders and the other people, the artists, mm -hmm. in the industry. Yeah. It has actually overwhelmed them so much that we have something called beef. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, beef, yeah. uh, we have something called beef and things like that, which sometimes is regarded as promotional. And mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh, uh, Popularity, uh, no? I mean, that's what it is like okay. now. But yeah, in those days, no, we didn't have that kind of thing. And don't forget, so here, Bob Banj, Grandpa, no, recording studio as some name. Yeah. Or what you say. How were they recording then? Now, the, the, those days, the, record, the records that we were playing, the vinyl. Yeah, the vinyl, yeah. Those days, the Ambassador Records was there, uh, mm -hmm. recording studios were there, Decca was there, mm -hmm. Essie Bones was there, you know. So, the other, like, uh, uh, Jay, Adolfo, Adolfo. Uh, all those people, they were recording. Okay. Nana Ampedu was recording. Yeah. 
you know so at a point you know and as I knew I mean, bad down as far as the music industry is concerned I remember was it because of the coup d'etat not because of the coup d'etat actually because the, 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 the coup the coup d'etat uh, uh, the coup d'etat affected uh, we are talking about recording recording okay the recording studios yeah now the coup d'etat actually affected the night life life whereby the bandsmen were no more getting uh, a, a stage so or like a, a, a time. very good forum to play their music so it was it was it brought the whole thing down but as far as the recording studios matter mm -hmm. is concerned uh, at, a, at a point we didn't have recording studios in ghana low patronage not because of low patronage i apparently i don't know why, why it should have happened that way but i remember very well that at a point in ghana there were no no, no recording studios work, working so that actually afforded uh, that uh, made people urged some of the musicians like uh, the classic handle boys mm -hmm. entry inclusive um, 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 uh, uh, george darko uh, nana uh, da, Costa, yes. da Costa and the rest uh, they left the shores of ghana thomas frimpong mm -hmm. and all Lido of them do. Lido do and all the ben Braco and all those and left, and cool. you, thank you they left the uh, lumba crambo was uh, yeah, I mean, no, late, late, uh, yeah. so apparently they all left because they, they they were very good musicians they they, they were even having co their own composition we all like we want to compose you know a lot yeah. of people a lot of the young guys had compositions like today that we have a lot, lot of young boys now you can they some of them have studios in their own uh -huh. uh, bedrooms you know yeah. so you know that was that was it but uh, 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 uh with the recording studios i just don't know why it happened that way or how mm -hmm. but uh um, 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 the nightlife itself there, I'll make us a cool now, uh, yeah, yeah, slow, uh, a slow, you know, I'm a P because of curfew. Yeah. Uh, also, Uswa, there, there are certain songs that you listen to depending on your parents, mm -hmm. the songs they play at mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. and you yourself, mm -hmm. Unina, you taste as a song. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a, a big young guy, mm -hmm. I'm a hip hop, you know, dance mm -hmm. hall, mm -hmm. uh, gangster music. Me, you know, I started hammer time. You know? mm -hmm. If I listen to the young guys' music and I listen to the old ones, mm -hmm. difference near big. And now I'm beginning to enjoy in my car. I listen I to appreciate. most of the, Exactly. Mm -hmm. Have you had such um, feeling? The kind of music you listen to today. Today, today. Um, you see, uh, uh, with me, I grew up first and foremost appreciating choral music, mm -hmm. brass band music. Seriously, brass band music was my topmost everything. Like the military ones I remember. Nah. You know, those things I was seriously into it. And then choral music, Methodist these hymns. And then I moved to Kitasa School to do the dance band, James Brown, Percy Sledge, and you know. Mm -hmm. So I and then my daddy was always playing classical music, you know, in at home. Mm -hmm. Mozart, Handel and the rest, Schubert. So I I, I moved on. Gradually, and then I went. I got into uh, uh, African music, music at a point, uh, 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 courtesy of uh, uh, Tala, uh, no Faisal Helwani. Yeah, Metro TV's. Brand. No, 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 no. That's Tala for Tala. I'm sorry. Faisal Helwani is the is. I the, think it was in the late seventies. The name. Yes, Faisal. Then he had a band called uh, uh, Hey Jolle, uh, and then uh, uh, Hey Jolle and Basa Basa Sounds and uh, Bunzu Sounds. I heard the name from uh, Ejakonimo. Yes, he, was on he, he was the he was the one man who gave Jacob that, man, that, that guitar. That man, may he rest in peace. Okay, uh, he he was the number one exponent of the African music that we should have been playing in Ghana today. See. Well, that one aside, but I appreciated music, you know, from one level to the other. Then I I I, I heard the uh, this in before then too. We were listening to Johnny Nash, Jimmy Cliff, blah 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 reggae yeah. then i got into i got to listen to the first time i heard bob marley bob, bob marley's music i was like what is this you know mm -hmm. so the passion was actually so big that i do appreciate all types of music mm -hmm. inclusive of the kete agbaja Wulome, uh, and all those people Wulome, i remember when they, when i heard their music the first time i had goose pimples i said like, where is this wow. music to coming from you know, like guns right guns yeah, it's different, different, different thing altogether that I never 
had heard before. Mm. I heard Bob Marley's music for the first time, and it was not by then popular. Oh. That time, Bob Marley's music was not popular at all. Oh, okay. At all. So when I listened, I heard the music. So I asked the, the, the lady who had the, this, I said, where did you get this music from? I said, oh, the brother went to Jamaica mm. and brought the album, and which was Catch, Catch a Fire. Okay. So then I started following, uh, listening to that music, and then and then uh, uh, after some few a, a couple of years, this band was formed. Classic Handels was formed. Kujon mm. and, uh, and their people, yeah. and they were solely into playing reggae. So it was the first serious reggae band in Ghana, and right. they were playing mostly uh, Bob Marley's music and other funk and things like that. So, so and I I used to go. I used to follow them a lot. You okay. know the band the Classic Handels. I follow them a lot. So I, I realized that, wow, there's some new music or a new trend coming. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And then psh, reggae. So we all went into the reggae thing. See. But now, who, who, who do you listen to most? What kind of songs do you listen to most? I listen now? more into, I'm, I'm more into, uh, uh, at, at home, when I'm relaxing at home, uh, I listen to jazz. Okay. And then soul music. But when I'm out, and uh, just having fun, having my drink, my beer, and things like that. Excuse me to say, all the guys uh, of contemporary uh, musicians, or let's say contemporary musicians of today, mm -hmm. uh, mentioning people like Sako De Shata and all those entire, and all those people, all those, all those, oh, all those I, I listen to them a lot. <laughs> and I love the, I love the rhythms, you know. Uh, <laughs> May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. <laughs> Nanatu four. Lovely also, man. I'm Lovely telling man. you. Who can't jazz until I'm born with my own? Ah, one so, take guitar. Exactly. Who take guitar? Stag guitar. Yeah. Stag, Budo. Yeah. On Ushianada. Budo means Shianada. <laughs> Manko Germany those days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do, do you miss radio sometimes? Being a presenter? Uh, I, lately, lately, I think uh, I, I do miss radio. Lately. Uh, so, uh, let's say back back about five years, six years. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I was I was so much busy uh, uh, filming mm -hmm. uh, as far as the career, my present career is concerned. Yeah. So, but uh, of late, um, it's like uh, I, I'm feeling a bit. Uh, I wouldn't use the word tired, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm feeling like you know traveling up and down. They push you. You're in some bush somewhere. Shooting you know, around. running ar around in the bush and shooting films. And so, sometimes, I, as, as at my age, mm -hmm. I, I sometimes think uh, I don't have to uh, exert that kind of thing on me. On me, you know. I am me feel say, anka anka minyaridua, anka me. And this thing started when uh, I was asked to come and do the joy morning drive or show or something like that. That was after GBC or before you got to do it? No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying I'm a popular actor, no. Uh, I did, no, I'm saying, I'm six match and now BBC. Okay, those, those, they are, they uh, are, they are, that okay, program, they feature, and then the yeah. feature, and you know, they might be handled the morning show from, from, I think from about 5.30 or quarter to six mm -hmm. till, um, is it 10 or 11 or so? Mm -hmm. So I was on radio. So that was when I realized that, wow. The thing is still I in remember you. Kujo, Kujo, Kujo Young. Kujo Yangsen. Kujo Yangsen, yes. Yeah. He called me uh, and said, uh, Oh boy, in this argument, there's a bit of 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 uh, it won't, first and foremost, it won't be political, mm -hmm. but I would rather handle art and entertainment program. Okay. Because I'm always in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I left music. Eh? I mm -hmm. left playing music. I went into radio playing music and doing presentations and things like that. I yeah. got out of radio. I, I came into acting, still, still in the media and still entertaining people. Yeah. So definitely at the end of it all, I can crown it all up. Yeah. Back on radio, in, into uh, entertainment and uh, art uh, uh, programs. What was your relationship with uh, Tommy Anna Poncho, 
and those days, those names. Who, yeah. who introduced you to radio? Uh, apparently, I had, when I came back from Nigeria and I said uh, I joined bands like Swapo Dance Band mm -hmm. and I'm called Bob Grassroots, Numza, at that time, no. I was half in 93 into 94, 95, no. No, I'm going to call you Bam, 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 Mm. And I'm called uh, home training school. No? Okay. Radio training school. Radio training school. Oh, and I'm passing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interview now. Uh, yeah, yeah, interview. I'm passing here. I was on radio. And you know, it took me about, at the school, it took me about uh, eight to nine months. Mm. But when I went into GBC2, after some months, they would take you back to school to do the refresher course and things like that. So, yeah. So, um, me buy no, and me buy me a friend. I'm saying no, I didn't call you. Me call school, and I'm call broadcasting. And the me case, ni pa kwa, o pushing me, o chere me, one two days. The friend, Charlie Sam, late Charlie, Charlie Sam. Sam. And the onu na me friend say, I was under his tutelage. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, another lady who was very popular on radio called Lucy Banini. Okay. Uh -huh. Lucy Banini, Mama Lou, Mama Lou. another great presenter, and uh, so they 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 actually propped me up, and to almost buy me pa, and uh, and I'm very a presenter. But in relation to a dear old boy, uh, Poncho, Poncho, and Tommy and I'm forcing. We had a whole lot of them. You can't even mention yeah. them. You know. Karaj Mambana man, Nana Nana Oimin Kwetia, yeah. now Kwetia him, Hine, who died years back. Um, uh, a lot of Poncho, Kwesiche, Dakwa, Dani Amonu. Uh, when was Azig Zaden? Azig, it was later Azig, he came. Azig Giza was our small boy, he was carrying our records. Okay, okay. Before nobody Azig Giza. Azig Giza was carrying KKD's record to GBC. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about 1986, 87, mm -hmm. 88. No, no, no. Azig Giza 90s. And as and as you miss as you is now uh, KKD, 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 some no blue, bag. Uh, blue, uh, blue uh, transparent bag. Yeah. Now you bought vinyl. Yeah. Now that power. Is, uh, vinyl, a power. Yeah. And then uh, now now the Nigerian or uh, uh, our studio. Uh, <laughs> one of these boys. Uh, 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 <laughs> KKD. Yeah. Was at the point. When the KKD Munya. Multi-roly crowd. Yeah. Oh yes. I mean, now once I'm in Nigeria, I'm my hustler, I'm in Baho. It's almost a normal U.S. from now. So when I feel me no more, na, I just hear you. But now, I'm only saying, I'm breathing. 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 Image no image no until I was saying she suit she suit every day. But you might say, I'm saying, huh? Now, who died that phone of all? She always she suit too. And I hope as well she suit. The whole Pama Free Hope is how they own him. Suit, suit. But you see, Quissy persistently without break till today. If you see that man come out, still wearing a suit. I've never seen Kwesi. I've worked with him for years. Yeah. I've been with, I know him for so many years, but I've never seen Kwesi in short. He, he is so consistent. Yeah. You know, when he told me that thing, and I said, Kwesi, ja, 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 ja. That's Now, me, me, you know, I'm going to see it every day. In some people, mm -hmm. but me, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to say, ah, Kwesi, Kwesi, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. grow. Mm -hmm. I was bought up now to you. I did machine. I was on this job. I felt power. Wow, fun! But I'm sure you're feeling rough. I'm sure he has thousands of suits. I'm telling you, he's over thirty years. Oh boy, Kwesi Chidakwa. Oh, I I feel that guy too much. I I know I'm very famous. I know I'm very famous, mm -hmm. but he is famous, and I feel him because Kwesi. Or foresight. Yeah, with his and because you know, 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 na I think a lot of uh, colleagues are in your room. I think 
na ono na na no i said na ambition ni me for side because ono na ni papa wo club wo tema okay uh, club your friend was cramp for him na me nim di no into no no he was he had already had experience of uh, uh, coming to the radio station to do adverts mm-hmm. and things like that that now old school into no ono and i i i will congratulate him for keeping for, up for keeping up and then getting and being at this level at which he is now this is Hammer Time, Kofi Ajololo, my guest. This show is brought to you by Cleans, Hand Sanitizer, Tabia, Herbal, Royal Lameta Hotel, Transformation Beauty Salon, Glamps, Makeup. Sadi oni me jume di eni penyu fo na chuchun kumona, nyam kumono, me sure se mo enjoy pa. And se me bria waka on TV da. A very great songwriter. Yes. This guy. Oh, you know what you see? Too much. Great song. And he's writer. deep. I'm telling you. I, I I don't know I, I don't know I don't know where he comes from I don't know how he got all these things uh, it's too much the guy can write mm-hmm. so you see I at the point when I I was doing all these jobs and all yeah. this, at the point I was like wow Oinubakisi if I should want somebody to write uh, uh, music high life music for mm-hmm. me I think you would have been the person that I would approach mm. Mm. if not uh, uh, the late Nana. To four. Nana to four, yes. Okay, because Nana to four, when it comes to her life, love and all yeah. the music, romantic, you know, is is good. And then uh, Kojentri is more into the, the what I'll say, you know, that touch. Reggae that touch, or Donnyan. Yeah, yeah, uh, but though uh, uh, Mr. To four was playing something bordering uh, her life and uh, reggae, the, the, the guitar the is more like reggae strumming, uh, I, I would have approach these people mm-hmm. uh, for them to uh, uh, write music for me if I should if Do I should something. have decided that I okay. want to write high life music or that sort of thing um, what radio so now OJ Payola Payola Maji Payola Majida I did not know OJ Payola debut me dear now I was not so much concerned about Payola but Maji Payola me in case I and the first time I mm-hmm. you, first time I met you, artist, 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 man, Lumba. Oh, Koyo Fuzu. Yes. Your first Payola was from Daddy Lumba. Daddy Lumba. Through the spite. <laughs> when he was, when they came out with the. Yeah, I can continue. Yeah, I can continue. He and Nana Champo. Nana Champo. Yeah, I remember very well. Uh, at GBC, one, one. I don't know if that's the mother or the auntie. Until I, if I see him, maybe. As the person who brought it. Yes, and the money was big as at that time. Mm. So I was like, well, then, well, I took it. Not I was not alone. There, mm-hmm. was, there were other uh, presenters who took the money. Okay. So I took the money for a quantum. Uh, mm-hmm. But you see, I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on record, Kofi Ajololo. Yes. To Daddy Lumbe's Payola, but yes. never played the song. Until I went to, then I traveled to London. I, uh, for almost about eight months, I didn't play that song. What was the reason behind that? The reason was, uh, I think, I was more, I was, the kind of high life I was listening to, right from uh, listening to uh, 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 the high lives we know, Ramblers, Yiti Mensa, Blah, 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 mm. into then I was doing the guitar band music I was playing J. Adolfo and all those music Lumba came out to something different different Boga Her Life or? I, would, I, I don't I don't call that one Boga Her Life when you say Boga Her Life we talk of uh, Lidio Do and then uh, Dodo, most especially Chasamwa Chasamwa so you see I think Lumba I don't know but I think Lumba listened so much to Chasamwa mm. because the beat could uh, that beat, that you know, that beat, mm. or you know, I, I said, No, what's this? I don't understand the language. I mean, I was not so much into uh, that kind of music, yeah. Um, so, well, I took it, but I didn't play it. I didn't play it. Mm. But when I went to London, any party that I go to, yeah, I can't go to you, Jesus, forgive me, Lord, for saying Jesus. I tell you, it was the most popular Ghanaian music. Mm. Most because that time it was practical. 
that time we had Pat Thomas, mm -hmm. we had jo uh, 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 George Dakun, we had we had Red Jemfi, we yeah. had all of them. But when Lumba, when I went to London, that was when I realized, wow, this Lumba man. He said, so I came back in 1993, and then continued. And when I came, continued on radio, hey. You started playing your quack Ah, <laughs> it was too much for me. <laughs> so, I mean, I know that Lumba knows about this story, I believe. Okay. I think he knows about this story. I, I told him a couple of times about it. Uh, so I took it. But, 93, after 93, uh, 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 Despite was uh, almost like the number one uh, distributor. Uh, di uh, dis producer distributor, isn't yeah. it? Distributor. Yeah, so he came up with a, a Christmas, that Christmas song, uh, Ketri's music. Yeah, uh, yeah. 24th. 24th, you call me we, yeah. we promoted that one, Hanamafo, Pentecostal Praises 1, 2, Volume 1, 2, 2, 2 and all those ones. So mm. we, and uh, I remember uh, Despite was uh, actually giving us some. Envelopes. Uh, some envelopes. Very important. But usually, to if I go to the office, the father, they give me That's envelope. It. I say, I won't take the envelope. They should fill my car with petrol. Mm. You understand? So, it made... It, 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 I became very close to Despite and father. Mm. And Despite became a very close friend of mine. Okay. So, uh, uh, so that's how it comes to Payo. Yeah. But let me, let me just state here that when I went to London... And uh, reading through books because I, I was aspiring to get an opportunity on one of the radio stations in London, okay. uh, like BBC and things like that. But I, I couldn't get it. But I was reading a lot. And that was when I realized that Payo mm -hmm. is not something peculiar to only Ghana. I see. Payo is a word from, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a coined word from, uh, from the word Payola. Payola, yeah. Payola was 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 something that was happening in BBC. The one of I mean, if I arise it globally, BBC, okay. you know BBC. Payola, the term Payola, I think started from BBC itself, mm. and it's a, I think it's a Spanish word. Okay, you know, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with Payola. People tell me that it's a bribe or that sort of thing, but I. I remember Kujonchi came with his album, one of his albums, and he came as a, he didn't even say he's going to give me money, mm -hmm. but I remember he gave me a shade mm -hmm. and a t-shirt. Uh, uh, no, he gave me a shade. Uh, Sasraku or some, one of the musicians mm -hmm. gave me t-shirt and some shirt. They came from abroad. I took them. Can you say that one is a bright? So we're in, in kind. So we're in cash. In, in kind. kind. And a payola is in cash. So uh -huh. if in kind and cash, is it, is it a crime? Um, okay, if you are OG and son of a boy, every time I hear bribe, then I saw boy and son of a jinx, so every time I was bribed. Oh, David, do you have to even me? Me, mom, there, so most of the time, so me, yeah, I'm the uh, the album, so bass, and mm -hmm. me, because I'm a, I've been a musician and I've played okay. before, and I can play music and I can listen to good music and I can. Tell you that look, this music that I play, it will become a hit. Mm -hmm. I can do, I can, I do tell some of them. Eh? I take it in the first place because of the the, the way the music is, and I, I like it. Yeah. You know, bros. If you ask for someone like Papa Shi, yeah, I used to sack him from the studio. Koyonzo. Ko, no, not Koyonzo himself. Okay. The, the first one, be he came out with the first one, and uh, yeah, before the Koyonzo, there was another. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was in '93. I I tell him go get out from the studio. You know, you say, oh, Uncle Kofi, you know, they take tone. I said, get out of this. The song is, I don't like this song. Mm. I don't like the song. So go and do a better song and come back. I worry that boy so much. But when he came out the second time, he came out with a, is that Ataju? Ataju. No, Koyonso before the Ataju. Uh, it was Koyonso. Koyonso, yeah. Uh, it, was, uh, it was when he came out with Koyonso. Now, I said, huh, now you are, you are going, you, <laughs> you are coming home. home. You are coming <laughs> Papa, she wherever he is, you'll be laughing if you should really listen to me. He calls me, she. he calls me London man. <laughs> now I call him American man. <laughs> <laughs> Evangelist, Papa, she. Yeah. <laughs> now, right now, if you have an opportunity to work in a radio station, uh, if somebody brings a proposal, uh, what would you look at before you accept it? If you do radio, and would you love it if that proposal comes and it's juicy? Of course, any proposal that comes and it's juicy, why wouldn't you accept? Right? You yourself, you know now. What if it's juicy and the station is not? to a certain standard would you accept it uh no i wouldn't accept it 
And if, so the station, you, if, the station is, if the station is uh, to the standard of pure FM, 95.7, isn't it? Yeah. 95.7. That's a it's as a juicy idea, Obaji. Maji. Good. Because me name say me me bano uh semi the plane plane a buy. Yeah. And you know uh man fa kamba and the Uber driver no didn't buy uh -huh. make besides say on a me copy or blah blah or say pure uh uh on one of us ninety five point seven. Mut utipa or say hey such in the brutal. So okay. Your friend sample, entry cabana, so it ya and you might bobo next to the away. You are live on Pure 95.7, Hammer Time. Um, radio. Yeah. I know GBC, we are continuity, we are announcer, producer, mm. presenter, yes. you're on radio, yes. you're on TV. Yes. Interviews. Yeah. I was on TV with so many programs. Oju Dean, yeah. mm. yeah. Um As a celebrity, mm. at a certain age or mm. stage in your life, at mm. your peak, mm. which I know. You've been there and you are still there. Mm -hmm. How are you handling it in terms of your 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 lifestyle? How you won't get into troubles and that? Like, mm. how do you discipline yourself? You see, uh, first and foremost, I I come from a very disciplined home. Okay. My, my daddy and my mommy, especially my daddy, the discipline there don't go there. Mm. So uh, I was not like a sport child. boy, child, mm -hmm. or although I was even playing music, I was mm -hmm. not a sport guy. Um, that one there, Saint Victor wife when those guys that I played with, they would testify. Now, me, me drew GBC, I me started yeah radio, I be afraid me din mba, eba, ni na asu no. The train we school say, a juma eba ye, ubiani a daiso. Inti, who be bia, and I be bia obe kobiano. Make sure say, you comport yourself, be a gentleman. We advise her. Your papa, Mike Egan, our tray adi, a catch tray. Me too. I I pushed it on to the younger ones that I had the opportunity to 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 lecture, to talk to, to advise, mm -hmm. like love and see. Yeah. Dusty. That's the one. And the rest. When the, the Garden City was Kwame, uh, radio the late, was done. The late to Kwame Uso and so. The late Kwame Oh, you're smart genius in that radio, on radio. Yeah, GBC, yeah. Uh, uh, so, even he left GBC and came to Kwame as a presenter. Presenter. But some of us, we came here, the beginning of uh, Garden City, yeah, we came radio. here to uh, make sure that everything was okay. No, and, uh, and, and because of that discipline, I have managed my popularity right through radio right from radio through television presentation of course i did presentation i did uh, tv market i did trade focus i did uh, trade fair uh, shop window i did uh, uncle ben's kitchen i did crime combat mm -hmm. on gtv yeah. and these uh, these were pro programs that were running mm -hmm. and people loved it then uh, from there i came i finished the, i left gbc went to do metro tv from Metro TV, briefly, I came to Peace FM for seven months or eight yeah. months, and then moved on to uh, to 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 establish Channel R Radio with uh, uh, Rico Brewery. No, Mr. Yike Adu. Okay, this one is Mr. Yike Adu, and so I established that radio station for him from Peace FM. I went there, and then uh, and then moved on to become an actor. Yeah. So all these times, all these times. I had managed to 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 uphold uh, fame the way it must be. Mm -hmm. My daddy once told me that don't raise yourself, don't make yourself. Men men church men 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 raise you. And I say even cry so ultra or cry home. Now be tiker mo passing jaka. Now oh oh now oh oh ni pakura kwa oh ni no. Now oh oh ah now oh we so we tell me, you know some you know, no even back. Eh, bia as at that time no, ni pa krono. I dream dream bi daniswa. In what I say? Yeah. I dream dream bi daniswa. Eh, hano. Oh, inti no. Oh, who happen no? Why are why are cheerful? Why are happy? Inti owevu sana. Ude eh bia unim ni pa krono. Unim nompo. 
or wave what? Wave the back. And possibly wave the person with your two hands. Mm. Which means, say, 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 who you popular, who you popular, say, who you young one. When you say, because who you popular, you know, oh, you look down on that person. Sa mentality, you know, media, man, fan, man, fan, man, fan, bomb me, bra. bra. <laughs> but there are people who are famous, mm -hmm. who are popular, who have gotten to that level that I have gotten to as, as young as they are, yeah. they, are they have gotten that. But I see it. Yeah, I, see. I see it. And it's so much uh, disheartening for me. Is it ego? It's ego. Hmm. Most, most of the time, it's ego. If you have ego, uh, fine. Ego can take you, so, but at a point, your ego will let you down. Yeah. I'm talking as a 65, almost 65 years old man. Yeah. You understand? Your ego will let you down. Popular fame, no. So today, people are being famous. I'm, I'm making fame out of uh, uh, social media, yeah. Instagram, and the rest. And they are making fame, and still their ego is that them. Some of them are not even working hard enough, but because of Instagram and the rest, and the rest of social media. Yes, you know that that that's one aspect of the the, the entertainment and arts yes. that I am I am looking at and. Uh, Possibly, I need to just write my memoir mm -hmm. on these kind of things because to manage fame, yeah, very very tough. Right from radio, onto TV, onto the screens, yeah. all these years, spanning about thirty years. Thirty years, yeah. So, if I am like that, the only thing that somebody who says the 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 the, the, the recent outbursts, the outbursts. No, not even their old. There is an adverse day. It was something that was true, 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 true. I mean... Were you really angry or you were acting? I was angry. Uh, my, I was angry because mm. this, that was something that I kept in me for for well over 10 years. I know it's true. It's what you true. said, I it's know, true. I know, I, I know. It, no, it's true. Know it's true. And I know you, if you were a producer, you, your artists will enjoy. Mm. Hama, you, I know you. And I know how you treat me. When you see me, although you are not even my art, my my producer or this thing, but you, you, the way you treat me, that's the way I believe you will treat any other human being. Right. Now I, I was angry, right to the point. I was angry. Oh, because as I was angry, na me drink kolan kolano a ene omu owa producer for no omu tiyo muka. Yeah. Ebi nukran for omu ti mi for mu group. Now I see your producer, now your director, now a form group, now a Jesus guy free in kolan kolan insem. Yeah. So training them. It's 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 training your input. Giving them roles. Training them. Who was who a teacher? Because we have trainers training. <laughs> eh? Who person a trainer? Who go school? Ne a training. Answer about your trainer. Who are who who see what group? No, who a trainer? We don't know anything. I I am talking out of experience because I have gotten inside them. I know all of them. But that day I was very angry. But as I was angry, the outbursts, uh, uh, some of my even co some of my colleagues got paid. Some of them, them two years, three years, they, 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 they were not paid because I, I came out like that. The producers were calling, they can't take your money, you can't take your money. You see, right from early 2000s, yeah. when Nigerian movies took over, mm -hmm. also Ghanaian movies, your survivor. Yeah. Before Miracle, Alexi Boat, mm -hmm. HM, mm -hmm. uh, Salam, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I remember I had this issue with uh, Nakwadus. You remember Nakwadus? Mm -hmm. Also, we were pushing for Ghanaian movies. We were pushing for mm -hmm. Ghanaian movies. Mm -hmm. And I think I, 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 I criticized one of his productions and he was mm -hmm. not happy with me. Mm -hmm. Because my point was Nigerians have taken over. Mm -hmm. Now, he are pushing for Ghanaian movies. Mm -hmm. Some people will just use small budget, mm -hmm. cheat artists, mm -hmm. produce it, get their money, mm -hmm. and they leave them. Mm -hmm. Or comes, hey, why are you saying it? Mm -hmm. So when I saw that video, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well, I have I have confronted uh, some of them far away, far back, ten years back before. Debtors. 
not debtors as such, but I'd rather say cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> because you come for somebody's service. Yeah. And the service you know is good. And it's going to be productive for you. Make sure you just uh, satisfy the person. But I'm sure the mistake also comes from the artists themselves. I don't see why you should accept a proposal from a producer that let's shoot the movie Metoria Metuaka. For me, it doesn't really, really make sense. Uh, be, uh, uh, well, the only people that you can do that to are the people who you want to cheat. And if you want to be cheated, then you allow yourself to be cheated. Me, uh mum, -huh. dear, uh, when I started acting, hmm. I started with a, 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 a series. Series. <clears throat> taxi driver, right? Taxi driver. Yeah, taxi driver. <clears throat> yeah, taxi driver. And uh, I remember when I, I went into taxi driver as a writer, mm -hmm. script writer. And anytime I write, I write the thing, I take it to the office, they pay me. Mm -hmm. Then when uh, 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 Dada Boat and the rest, they left. Yeah, call me, uh, Mickey. Mickey. When they yeah. left, so we came in. And any time I work, if it's next week, it, it was office run something. Yeah. So everything was Organized. perfect. But when I went into acting itself, um, that was when I realized that it's not like how you run an office and, you know, the, 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 that's when the playing, playing, playing comes in. Yeah. You know. But some of, and me, I saw it as an opportunity to, to go into uh, this this field mm -hmm. uh, uh, to 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 actually delve into it to know what it is in mm -hmm. there, and luckily, luckily, uh, I, the first film I did, uh, the role was uh, 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 a lead role. Mm -hmm. So, but the lead role, how much did I? Did it, it was peanuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when you are a, when a new person and just like that, and they, you, know, you just take it like yeah, that. Manage. But when you when you get to a certain point, the people you should the people you should respect. I also have more respect to. Yeah. So why, 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 you why, paid your dues. And you paid dues because you want be there. You want your dues. Why? But at the point, they should respect you and the service that you are providing. Okay. And that's it. And to me, the Mikai, Prince is this your infant infant Thailand or baby? Okay, but did you my terms are ten ten years ago? Yes, Missika, I'm from my what you have. I can have from Missika, mama. I ain't talk. Oh, you don't mean you ain't talk. Oh, you don't talk. Oh, me so boapa. I na missizi tape no. Missizi tape no. You who say tape you there? Missizi there mean for man. Rush is new yana. The air travel two days. The air travel. No, there's some of the rushes here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, rushes. Yeah, rushes. That's yeah. it. Rushes. Mm -hmm. The reason why I said rushes is when he goes to the studio. And this one was already pre uh, edited. No, before now, edited. Let me let me educate you here. Okay. Rushes is what is being edited and left out, not to be used. Uh -huh. so, but this one on set. All oh, the before all the takes before all the takes before it to be captured <laughs> onto okay, uh, the right. bench. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm so I, I took I took two. Mm. My director was uh, Pascal Mamamfo. Okay. Pascal realized that this guy wouldn't pay, mm -hmm. so he also took one. Okay. Also, I think he took one or that. He realized that the thing was not going well. Much alpha. But uh, about uh, the following day, also I was there in the hotel. He came shouting, insulting me, and then, then threw the money at me. I uh -huh. said, so, "No, I'm pay." And I'm saying, okay, fine. Who should you tell me? And I'm Jimmy Sika. Now, that's going to be Jimmy. Uh-huh. Chop into the house. Uh, costume here. Come, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, props. Continuity. Me to tell you, it's going to be my voice. Good. To tell you, what I mean. This is not what the money I'm, I'm looking for. But I'm looking for respect and dignity. Mm -hmm. You understand? Since he, he, he's no more a producer. Yes, you on an number. Sanity. <sighs> is it that the money... Is not there or intentionally they don't want to you see honor their promise. some of these my people see themselves as businessmen Men. so they have to make profit so if they have to make profit sometimes the profit uh, 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 one aspect of uh, 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 making Business, profit yeah. is is by reducing uh, figures. your costs and figures and you forget that that thing you are doing is will also affect somebody yeah. whose service whose service you have actually come for yeah you see, that's so. That's where the problem is. I have, I have produced the film. Mm -hmm. I have produced at least. I have produced, grilled, one film. You know, I had an executive producer, although, mm -hmm. 
but I, I, I coordinated everything and I made sure everybody had what he or she needs to get. Know. You know the problem they face? And I blame some of the team, mm -hmm. the crew. Uh -huh. Okay, example, I'm executive producer. Mm -hmm. I know about the media. I know how mm -hmm. to do this and that. I can mm -hmm. do my budget. Camera, mm -hmm. how many days? Light, mm -hmm. how many days? Crew, mm -hmm. maybe how many days? Mm -hmm. Artist, props, and blah, 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 makeup. Mm -hmm. Here's the case. You'll find a cameraman. Ah, they be all set to suit. So he feels like he can also produce. Mm -hmm. Then you go and see, let's say, Kwame Dinkra, mm -hmm. who is a businessman. Mm -hmm. Then they'll go and tell Kwame Dinkra, oh, Kwame. May twenty thousand, which make you move your mind. Mm. Mm. Or even grabbing him, Kufiajol, or Nukrampuno, and Madame, you know, oh, make a channel. Or just, yeah. Yes, this is what is going on. Oh, uh, I'm Papa. So, Kwame Dinkra will take twenty thousand as a businessman, mm. or go and take money from the bank. Mm -hmm. Twenty thousand. Mm. No, they are bread. That uh, camera, uh, uh, that cameraman. Now, ah, uh, no, so no, you're director. You're director. Mm. Oh, maybe not after twenty thousand. No, bench a crank. Mm. Editing and uh, nah, 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 you see that, that, that whatever they've gone to do, trouble. No, my hungry. Now, I hungry. Now, I did a fresh adding a spiders. I got the spiders in a can. And you see, and they'll go back to where we come in. So, oh, scan and zoom. Maybe I'm coming to 20 be account. Forgetting that even after producing, you have to market it. Mm. That's the thing is, is, they don't even know how to budget. Exactly. They don't know how to budget. They don't know how to budget. Into you say, you see, oh, 20,000, now 40, 30,000. Yes. No, no, no. And another thing too is, when the businessmen go for these loans, mm -hmm. and AB, I say, production, a better, editing, a better, AB or G loan, no, every mm -hmm. month, you will your interest. Yes. So they don't even get time to preview the, the movies the movie before, before they. The, Premier. I, I, in fact, I, 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 adding, they adding. don't know the business. Uh, no, no, the thing is, uh, they should know the business because if, if you're in a rush, it, a lot of them. You don't want to learn before. A lot there. of them. A lot of them. And it's it. I feel so bad to even say that uh, I, I know I know some of these my people who are into this. They, they don't do... Look, even script conferencing, they don't know how to yeah. do it. They, they will bring scripts and you already understand. And, and most of them, they don't even go by script. No, uh, uh, oh. most of the producers now, it's like, oh, you found some Ukununi or Mongasa. So, continuity, most of the time, they don't get it right. Uh, they don't get it right, yes. Because they, they don't go by lines. Yes, yes. yes. As, for, as for that one there, this is not a change kakra. Okay. A few days ago, I met one camera guy we also into video production, uh, or yeah, music video. Uh, and, uh, Okay, can I cost her? I'm quotation. I'm saying, listen, don't give me a quotation. Go back and list the things and come back to me. Mm -hmm. Also, boss, I'm saying, listen, let me tell you, I've been there, done mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I'm just tired of certain things. That's mm -hmm. what I'm getting job. Yes. Have you seen this commercial? Mm -hmm. Have you yeah, seen yeah, this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, how many? I'm saying, ah. uh -huh. Remember way back in GBC? Uh -huh. You remember how the cameramen used to carry their cameras? Mm -hmm. They would tell you, that's my baby. Yeah. They will put the camera at where they will put their eye. Yeah. It's now, true. how do you see? It's true. It's very true. Now, uh, uh, well. Now, what role do you play best? As an actor? Yes. Say, so, yeah, the script, bro. Uh, the end bar is like, oh, we just had Tommy Lasso. The end of bar is like, oh, this role, I don't. Which roles do you enjoy playing? I enjoy playing all my roles, so. But are you co comedians? Where are they heavy power? Your comedy. Uh, my comedy, mom. Now, me comedy. You know, the first comedy I did. See, I cruise. I'm forcing me. I'm here. I'm forcing me. Oh, oh, where they, where they fast carrying to in tempo. Uh huh. Oh, me say, oh, da 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 da. Me your comedy. You come there. Me your me. I'm say, oh, Mr. John. In the producer, I'm not cool. Uh huh. And a friend me, a pair my choice and say, "Oh, Mr. Jolo, now we, now we pursue aye, but the be aye, I'm from, I'm from Mano. Now in Tigu, na na, Mr. Sir, aye, that the Maisa. Okay. In Tigu, read the script, read the script, na very voluminous. And I'm reading, I'm saying, I did grammar to me aye. But then, at the end of the day, no, I think the Maisa 
made me popular in Europe okay. more than any other thing. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I, I did my side, I did uh, office palaver, and then uh, that was even after I went to Nigeria to do comedy with uh, Ibu, Sophia. Ubu, or Sophia, Charles Urum, uh, Unoji, yeah. and all those guys, you know. Mm. That brings me back to one thing. You remember Ghana Nigeria collaboration? Yeah. I think the late Kwame Usu was arrested in peace, my brother. Yeah. Hmm. Can I call me your name? Yo. Grandpa. Oh. I saw him, my brother. Do you, do you, I left Kwame Usman a day before he died. In Accra. In Accra. You remember this madhouse? Yes, madhouse, Ike. I know. Ike, yes. I was there, I was doing something for Ike. Yeah. On the weekend, so when I was there, I was uh, the one driving Kwame. Uh, 18 Junction. Oh, yeah, 18, the Kwame 18, 18 Junction. 18 Junction. So that Camry, mm -hmm. I was the one always driving. God damn it, if you're, mm, uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm the driver. I said, no problem. <laughs> so anytime, I think the Thursday, I think yeah. Wednesday, 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 I dropped him at East Legon. There's a barbering shop mm -hmm. close to IPS. IPS, yes, yes. I came back to the studio. Mm -hmm. And he dropped me at the airport. I came back. I was sending mails to him. Oh. That night. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And we used to use spinters, not motorway. No, no, no. Spinters. Mm, and that day you use the spinters. And you use the motorway. Motorway. Anyway. Hmm. Now before Kwame, before the I think Kwame had the first opportunity to do that collaboration with Nigerian actors. Actually, uh Kwame left us in Accra, left GBC uh, uh, the studios in Accra to Kumasi. To Kumasi, yes. So it was uh, here in Kumasi that uh he got uh, the chance in, 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 the chance and got in touch with a miracle, miracle. And so, yes and uh, that man has done so well wow. for this industry in kumasi yeah. and uh, they, they have to they have to award that man they should give him legendary award kumawood i'm saying this he really on really record tried. on record Samuel Nyamiche, miracle phones needs to be honored yes. legendary award with honest because without that man he was, Masi going, he was going all out wouldn't have had people like directors continuity people yeah we wouldn't have had people like nanama you know, porsche sari emilia brope bila someone and i for we wouldn't have had all those and people. i met this guy uh, uh this nigerian guy obono peter peter bono peter no. yes peter mm, peter uh, peter the other one with Peter, Peter is late now. Yeah, late. Mm. And the one with Zach Oji. Zach, yes. I remember I used to do this uh, behind the scenes show on Crystal TV then. Okay, so long I used to go on set yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah, to do their interviews yeah. and things like that. Yeah, you see, I keep saying it. <laughs> the first person who did the co collabo, collabo is uh, uh, this man. Uh, uh, how do you call him? Uh, uh, Samuel. Samuel, yeah. He, Samuel brought people like uh, Clem Aki, 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 all of the Akiem Popo. Oh, that would be far before Akiem. Okay, those Liz Benson, Liz Liz Benson. Uh, uh, Kanayo, Kanayo, Patient uh, Zoko. No, that guy. So I I keep saying, and I've been telling my colleagues that they have not done enough for this man. Yeah, because without he invested, him, some of the boys were light holding light and microphone boom and uh, today they are directors yeah. in Kumasi here yeah. and they know themselves but they need to honor you see the problem Miracle. we faced that time was those guys will go out there use limited budget to shoot a movie and compete them uh, yes, they do. Yeah, well, that was another problem they uh, were facing. Well, 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 whatever it is, it's all about development. Yeah. It's all about uh, moving forward. It's, it's progressive. You know, uh, uh, an open market breeds competition, and competition is, is more... But is it, the unfortunate part of it was, you see, look at Salam. Mm -hmm. The kind of movie Salam was producing. Mm -hmm. Look at Apple, Apple mm -hmm. Shelley. Uh -huh. uh, Shelley. Adam's Apple. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm, next week I'm on set for her. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you have such people producing and you have other people producing with lower budget, mm -hmm. unfortunately, mm -hmm. our market, they don't look at quality. Yeah, no, no, no. The storyline. Uh, <laughs> so that's a problem. I understand what you're talking about. Well, it's a problem. And uh, uh, we've always said that uh, we need to uh, uh, up, 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 upgrade our, 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 the quality, quality of our films. 
uh, we are doing here in Ghana. You like because the, the Nigerians, the Nigerian and Nollywood has, has actually gone on into a different level yeah. together. And what they are doing is it marvels me yeah. to think that uh, we are still now. Know, look at us. The, no, we 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 we. In fact, I I watch a lot of uh, uh, Nigerian movies and what I keep watching or what I watch, and I compare what I watch or what I do here comparatively. Uh, sometimes when I say it, people don't understand me, but the, it's it's a fact. But you see, there's something that I've observed. If you watch uh, rock TV, rock rock, mm. it looks like now they are running away from higher budget tech movies. Or the whole house, mm. the concept just centered in the house. Mm. That's it. Yeah, yeah uh, there, there is there is a reason for that. Okay. You see, when they were when 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 we were when they were calling some of us over to Nigeria to work, mm -hmm. uh, it was like normal. Mm -hmm. You 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 have a, a this thing a location here. Locations, location, uh, location. Hairdressing yeah. saloon. Yeah. Hospital here. The golf course, then uh, then you be moving, moving uh, yeah. uh, then traffic, you know, like Lagos traffic. Uh, so now they realize that now we have to write the stories that can cut the costs. So centered just. So when you see some of the films now, the cast, the main casts, the main characters, mm -hmm. about four. Four. Then maybe extras five. Five, five son. Five, son. You know, so now we're talking about course. And the stories that they are writing actually contains these kind of things yes. nicely, beautifully done. That's mm. it. Abraham TV is in Shaumano. Your friend of Obo for Raphael. Obo for Raphael. Also, we did a boss. Oh, it's too good. We did a boss. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, this new boy. I was a friend of your boy, my mom. I said, yeah. Me think you remember me. Me born in the same. I said, your fan is saying he's a nice man. Your Thank you very much, boy. <laughs> your fan is saying you put ten in there, do car. Oh yeah, wild no. Same same night you have. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You say, you say and they, they want to know. They, they, I, 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 they, uh, the producers, they, uh -huh. they wanted to know which the which are the producers. I, said, uh -huh, they know, yeah. I just don't know they know themselves. So it looks like they were scared that you may. Come out and mention their name. No, no, I didn't. No, maybe I want me to hear her. I that will be frank and open. I well could be. It could yeah. be. It could be. It could be because uh, 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 me, me, yes, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. the, it was only one person, of course, uh, uh, which it was all over. We were on radio, even mm -hmm. we sat at P on Peace FM and we were talking about this matter. Uh, uh, but later on, mm -hmm. later on, because Abaji, we made a promise in front of Kosi Abaji, so we try. So, mm -hmm. so I don't have any problem with it. Uh, but I can't back home. One, one person, I can't even back home. So, how do you charge? Um, uh, Is it per well, script or per row? Uh, oh, no, with the with the with series you charge per uh, uh, episode Seems. episodes okay by episode but the difference is if the the series the story is around you as a character, main character. Your, your main character then that one the uh, negotiating for the money is, is quite different mm. now if uh, for film you look at the, the, the your role and uh, you, you think uh, it's it's good that you can play it, then you charge. So you are getting good money for your job then? So uh, far as... Apparently, every time I say this thing, people don't believe it, mm -hmm. that in the film industry, film actors and actresses are supposed to make big money. Yeah. Big money, not small money. Because of your lifestyle. Not the small money politicians are making on. Bigger money. Today, it's politicians who are making the money. Yeah, I'm saying actors and actresses and those of us in, the, in arts and entertainment, we are supposed to be richer than these people. Yeah, I know what you are saying, but because of maybe I want it, that's the way it is. Now, me no Debbie Amaka. Me call Nigeria and I'm Nyeska. More. Now, there be a matter of Papa Yasi. Miracle. There be. Okay. Uh, 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 that's what Miracle just said. Madonna said that. Adi Salam. Abdul Salam. Salam. Now, here, they push me. 
through so uh, the producers all Nigeria. Okay. And I'll push him. I'm be saying, say, I tell you, Nipe, oh, you good power. Oh, you hear, oh no, you hear Jack Yapia, you hear Vika, you hear we, you hear we. Oh, Smith Asante, Yanko, Yako, Yako is from Sikana, you know, from that town, and I'm who say, ah, Nigeria for me to ask her fine. Even the background, I can't help pushing me quite grandpa, grandpa, or Sikana, me got you on a general, or no, you know, me yet. On to your half of this, Cassie, what does it? But, uh, Sabi Sabi, me and Maka, say, Ankanya Nigeria and I equa. Me, I'm talking of the people who do English more English than Akan. Akan, okay. Film. I'm talking of for my people who we, we, we who do the glamour, the, they the call gl glamour movies. They say glamour, whatever, yeah. but uh, it's not glamour because we do a uh, epic in English, yeah. We, we do a pick in English. Glamour is the city, city yeah. all these uh, um, punk cake and lipstick matters, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, those of us who go there today, they, we are, we can all confess mm -hmm. and confirm this matter I'm saying. Yeah. Now, what they pay us here is less, mm -hmm. lesser. So, they should up their game. Way. In fact, as for upping game, we have said it and said it and said it. But producer will have something to tell it oh Charlie with the you with the Charlie with them oh dada me they say say I know me man or my daughter papa producer producer papa I say daddy who are you my papa who are you now you my papa daddy I've been with the Kutujie uh-huh oh so sometimes uh, you you just have to because if you are if you are somebody you have uh, uh, compassion uh -huh. you, you just leave you, it young boy like this man will come to you young boy who come to you maybe I couldn't just keep you a baby. So a person here from a transcript. So boy, boy me. Oh, and so be me so no. Me wah hey, I have dependents. Yeah, you have family. I have family. So whatever it is, no, I'll I'll give you advice as to what and then you you go and try and get some more. Yeah. So what you mean be out of compassion? I'll do it for you. What you say? But usually, so no, me me so me cause said that type of said so. I go there because I want to inspire the young ones. The young ones, although they don't have money. Yeah. So instead of me, I've said that if instead of going to establish a, a, an acting school for me to teach and take money from them, I'd rather accept a work from them, be amongst them. them. On that set, so I, the mistakes they will be doing, I can be correcting. Practical. Practically. Even in my presence alone will motivate them, them yeah. and inspire them on set. So that's it. Okay, your time now. Asu. Na ibi chanyumba kuna yedi asoriso. Stay with Pure FM for more news and music live at ninety five point seven. Bro, yeah, bro. I didn't have a career chat for that. You put your oh, that was pa. Eh, the biya me can say, Kumasi de, so po umpo. Kumasi will always be the hub. Yeah, so po umpo. Kumasi will remain the hub as far as film uh, making uh, is concerned mm. in Ghana. So umpo umpo. Yeah, yeah. And you know, me Kumasi a friend will be friends with me. Kumasi, me my job with Kumasi. I see it as a, a a good opportunity to just uh, have a good time with good friends. And uh, if I have after working, I can sit somewhere and uh, have uh, my beer. Your chill beer. And then I have na a shimmy pass. I've lost uh, nine out of four. Oh, uh, because I know I said I know I got trapped. Me shapal is supposed to be in the horn, the horn, the studio. So, eh, eh, yeah, or the studio, or the studio, yeah. Eh, the horn. Now, on say, uh, they be uh, back to every shake down horn. Yeah, eh, 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 you know, she a Guinness, you know, you know. Ah, uh, she me pass. Pretty moon, you know. Oh, Charlie, you know, easy. Ah, brutal. Anyway, to all my fans in Kumasi, I'll rather say. 
I love you all and uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, uh, please keep patronizing as yeah, yeah, and yes, we all, yeah, and God, without you people now, you into me and yes, I do me now, mumpire bo and I hear more into Miss Remo, Moon Kosu, Namun Fair films. Namu is a way quack or toy, this is grandpa and talk, but a uh, bundle will be to me a bundle. Now I feel you yeah. now I feel your films or all that, uh, uh, digital uh, stream, uh, stream, uh, stream, yeah. stream uh, uh, and me uh, person can say, uh, "Let the power light of God's love create miracles in your heart." Amen. And then uh, wherever you are, spread it along, and let it touch someone near you. Amen. We, we love you all. We Amen. love you all. Thank you. This show was brought to you by Clean Hand Sanitizer, Tabia Herbal, uh, Royal Lameta Hotel, um, Transformation Beauty Salon, Glams Makeup and Transformation. Uh, next weekend, call na Eko CC on come on. Uh, next week, I have my sisters coming to my show, Daughters of Glorious Jesus. Enjoy your week.